Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. I want to clear the air about some allegations that have been made against me. Session musicians from the last live intestinal fortitude lineup have accused me of being financially unscrupulous. I just want to tell you, face to camera to face, that these allegations made against me are absolutely true. I mean, what kind of moron do you have to be to take the promise of money in the underground seriously? But the Lord Valtrex Dylan Crotch has taken it upon himself to cash in on the situation, so to speak. I have the looming threat of legal action over my head. My own band, my creation, that I built from the pen up, is being kidnapped from me in a blackmail scam. Crotch has conspired with the powers that be beyond me and is currently launching a campaign to erase me from the history of my own subject. He has taken the songs that I taught him and is planning on making a mockery out of them, using a monkey on drums straight out of Donkey Kong and some minions from a stable of deaf black grind musicians from Garland, Texas on guitars and bass. God only knows who's gonna do vocals, but you know what, Val Crotch? When I started this band two-fifths of a decade ago, I did it out of a passion for two interests that I thought had similar traits in pushing extremes. Metal and wrestling. Little did I know, I did it as the final important eras of these art forms were coming to closes. It was almost as if time itself had opened up and swallowed all that was good and historically important. And as I built a house upon this foundation, they crumbled underneath my feet. The last bastion of skilled artists faded away. A scrawny, effeminate facades built on junk technology and copied ideas took over. And now, it's all an embarrassing shell that, quite frankly, I don't care to go back to. Friday, October 30th, on the weekend of the dead, intestinal fortitude will rise from the grave it retired to years ago and parade its sorry corpse around Reno's chop shop. Will the captain try to stop it? No. You may find this hard to believe, but Valkron, Mantooth, you don't have to worry about me. Because my message to you, and to all you people out there who are watching this who care, is that those four letters, C-A-R-E, make up a word that stands for something I have completely run out of. I have better things to do than waste my time grinding away at something that'll never go anywhere. So have fun with my band, boys. I'll be off doing grown-up things if you need me.